death of legendary actor Charlton Heston. We've been with him through the years and have one of his last known interviews in this story from Stage 28. My dear friends, colleagues, and fans, my physicians have recently told me I may have a neurological disorder whose symptoms are consistent with Alzheimer's disease. August 2002, the Hollywood legend reveals startling and sad news. Just three weeks earlier, he gave us this interview, perhaps his last, as he arrived to celebrate 75 years of Paramount Pictures, where he made his first blockbuster, the 1952 circus epic, The Greatest Show on Earth. I was pretty green, but I was smart enough to know that this was an important place to work. Behold his mighty hand! By 1956, he was parting the Red Sea as Moses in the Ten Commandments. And in 1959, he took the title role in Ben-Hur. The famous chariot race was physically demanding, but Heston told Leonard Maltin that Planet of the Apes required even more. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! It really wasn't a, a pleasant day's work, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you earned your keep. Yes, I did. I earned my money. <laughs> Now Hollywood is mourning his loss. Kirk Douglas had these words for Hollywood.tv. And longtime friend Nancy Reagan released this statement. He was one of Ronnie's and my dearest friends. I will never forget Chuck as a hero on the big screen in the roles he played, but more importantly, I considered him a hero in life. He's legendary. He's, he, I grew up with my dad, that was like a favorite thing to do, to watch his movies. I mean, I, oh, he was a wonderful actor. He was a longtime fighter for civil rights and president of both the Screen Actors Guild and the National Rifle Association. Charlton Heston was 84 years old. I'm grateful beyond measure. My life has been blessed with good fortune. One of a kind and a terrific actor, but even so, Charlton Heston actually won just one Oscar during his lifetime for Ben-Hur. We'll be Oscar winning right actor Charlton Heston died last night at his home in Beverly Hills. He was 84 years old. Once the quintessential big screen hero, in his later years he drew as much attention for his controversial politics. Bill Whitaker now with the life and times of a legend. Most of the world's historical figures lived before the time of photographs and movies. But thanks to Charlton Heston, we can put a face to a name. Michelangelo. Holy Father, I'm a, a sculptor, not a painter. John the Baptist. Repent! El Cid. Say Amen. Moses. Behold his mighty hand! Charlton Heston specialized in playing bigger than life, on screen and off. Born John Charles Carter in 1923, he grew up in northern Michigan. At Northwestern University, Heston found his two greatest loves, his wife Lydia and acting. With his rugged good looks, he quickly became a leading man in the movies, winning an Oscar for Ben-Hur. I warn you, Rome is an affront to God. Yet Heston often said his favorite role was in a modest, low-key western called Will Penny. It's too late, Gaff. Too late for me. But Heston is best known in later years for disaster and science fiction movies. He claimed the distinction of being killed more times than any leading actor in the history of film. Long time ago. And that voice, he could oh, deliver dialogue from the sublime. Go. Proclaim liberty throughout all the land. He was politically active all through his life, marching with Dr. Martin Luther King for racial equality in the 60s. And I'm proud I did. It's one of the proudest moments of my life. Then taking on more conservative causes, most famously as the president of the National Rifle Association. From my cold, dead hands. In 2002, Heston learned he had Alzheimer's disease and delivered one last monologue. I can part the Red Sea, but I can't part with you, which is why I won't exclude you from this stage in my life. We are such stuff as dreams are made of, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Hollywood. Actor Charlton Heston died at his home in Beverly Hills last night. He was 84. Brooke Anderson has more now on Heston's life. The Lord of Hosts will do battle. Most people knew Charlton Heston as the actor who played God's right-hand man. Behold 
showed his mighty hand. The man who would play larger-than-life characters on the big screen says his love of acting grew out of his lonely childhood. Known for his strong screen presence and his chiseled good looks, Heston was a natural as the handsome hero. In 1959, that distinction and the movie Ben-Hur won him the Oscar. Who are you? A rarity in Hollywood, his film career endured more than half a century. From Technicolor epics to science fiction, that granite-carved profile intimidated opponents with a glare or few choice words. Take your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! His talent commanded respect and conveyed integrity on the big screen and the small one. It allowed him to hone his craft. Oh my god. Heston boasted he'd acted on every continent except Antarctica. He was the longest serving president of the Screen Actors Guild. Later, he diverted much of his attention to conservative politics and fought the forces of gun control. After four people were killed in a school shooting in Jonesboro, Arkansas, Heston took command of the declining National Rifle Association and turned it around with what became a polarizing phrase. From my cold, dead hands. Tom Selleck called Heston a friend and mentor. The two appeared in the 1976 war drama Midway. You know, when Chuck uh, started heading up the NRA, it, it put a face to a, uh, an organization that whether you people disagree with it or agree with it, had been effectively demonized for quite a few years. I would, let me make one more point that I forgot. Heston was used to taking a stand. In the 60s, he disagreed with segregation, supported Dr. Martin Luther King, and campaigned for civil rights. In 2002, the man who had lived his whole life in front of the public told America about his private battle. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. I'm neither giving up nor giving in. I believe I'm still the fighter that Dr. King and JFK and Ronald Reagan knew. But it's a fight I must someday call a draw. Friends say Heston and his wife Lydia, whom he'd married when their careers were just beginning, plan to confront the disease together. They've dealt with a lot, and they'll deal with this uh, as they've done the other things. Uh, and hands very much in love with their heads held. In 2003, Heston was given the Medal of Freedom, America's highest civilian honor. Charlton Heston himself has become one of the great names in film history. Charlton Heston has left his mark on our country as an artist, and as a citizen, and as a patriot. Actor or activist, Heston loved the power he had with the crowd. Thank you for everything, not only now, tonight, but on through all years. It's been a wonderful run. I'm going to miss you. That was Brooke Anderson reporting. Heston's family has not yet announced we funeral plans. No giving in. I believe I'm still the fighter that Dr. King and JFK and Ronald Reagan knew. But it's a fight I must someday call a draw. Friends say Heston and his wife Lydia, whom he'd married when their careers were just beginning, plan to confront the disease together. They've dealt with a lot, and they'll deal with this uh, as they've done the other things, uh, holding hands very much in love with their heads held high. In 2003, Heston was given the Medal of Freedom, America's highest civilian honor. Charlton Heston himself has become one of the great names in film history. Charlton Heston has left his mark on our country as an artist, and as a citizen, and as a patriot. Actor or activist, Heston loved the power he had with the crowd. Thank you for everything, not only now, tonight, but on through all the years. It's been a wonderful run. I'm going to miss you. That was Brooke Anderson reporting. Heston's family has not yet announced funeral plans.